I knew I had to get out of my comfort zone in order to get to where God was leading me. So if it meant going to New York when I didn't have a lot of money to sleep on my sweetheart, AJ Crimson's couch and taking a chance with him, to go in the studio with someone like a Dave Young who believed in me when I did not believe in myself. Like, God just kept putting these people in my life. Like these angels that would take care of me and help me along this journey. Like, I mean, I have so many great people. I only had to sleep in my car, I think I remember like two nights. And that was during the time that I was auditioning for this movie called Preacher's Kid. And I remember feeling like you have to get this. You can't go back home. And I remember during that week, I also got another audition for like this major movie. And I had a callback for both. I didn't know what callbacks were or anything like that. But I remember auditioning for Preacher's Kid, getting that role, going on this other audition for this other movie, getting a call back for that, all the way to the chemistry read, oh, I knew I had it. And then to finding out I didn't get the part in whatever the major film was, and they ended up having a change of lead for Preacher's Kid on that Friday. They asked me to play the lead role of Angie. And it was out of my car and on a flight to Atlanta. <laughs> And that, that movie changed my life.